welcome students to the next session of your hydrocarbon chapter we are almost coming to the end of the chapter i am just left with the chemical properties of alkynes and then i'll be jumping into the benzene compound there we will be studying about the different uh, reactions of uh, shown by benzene aromaticity of benzene resonance of benzene right orbital diagram of benzene right so then i have to come back to alkynes chemical properties what should i remember first so basically alkyne is a triple bonded compound isn't it right so alkynes are uh, denoted by their triple bonded c triple bond c that now what do, why, why did i write this basically because of the presence of triple bond that is it has one sigma and two pi bonds this is going to show a wide range of chemical properties what are those it's going to show addition reactions because of the presence of pi bond it's going to uh, and after addition reactions it's again going to show oxidation reactions it will also show polymerization reactions as i told you in alkenes monomers getting converted to polymers in addition reactions also you have different types like your addition of hydrogen then you have electrophilic addition reactions then you have nucleophilic addition reactions and in, again you have different subclasses in this when i speak about oxidation here you're going to uh, we are going to learn oxidation in terms of combustion reactions we are going to learn oxidation using KMnO4. We are going to learn oxidation or we are going to learn under heading ozonolysis. Under polymerization, I am going to teach you about cyclic polymerization and linear polymerization. Both we are going to see. Right? So, done. So, here with this basic information, let's start uh, learning one after the other chemical properties. So, I'll be starting with the first class of compounds or first class of reactions that is addition reactions. First, I'll be teaching you what are what is how do what are the products we get with hydrogen, what are the different electrophilic addition reactions, and what are the different nucleophilic addition reactions. Right. So let's let's start with the topic, the first topic that is, as I said, we are going to start with the addition reactions of alkynes. Why are we doing? We take this because alkynes has one sigma and two pi bonds. Now, when I have to take an alkyne, right? Now I'm going to take an alkyne. Whenever you're adding hydrogen, I say addition reactions and then addition of hydrogen. So I say addition of hydrogen. What is that? That means whenever you are adding hydrogen, it is nothing but reduction. So for reduction, what do you require? You require reducing agent. What are the different reducing agents we use? We can use like um, Linder's catalyst. Palladium, Lindler's CaCO3. So I did one video also on Lindler's catalyst. So palladium in the presence of CaCO3 that is Lindler's catalyst here I ha I can uh, like I have to use like I also use poisons right so poisons like what are the poisons which I use sulfur or I can use quinoline these are the poisons which we use further I'm going to use reducing agent the next class of reducing agents like nickel or platinum <coughs> sorry palladium isn't it so with these reducing agents i can easily add hydrogen to an alkyne right suppose let me take one example and see so these are the reducing agents which help in addition suppose if i take an alkyne now i have taken an un unsymmetrical alkyne in this way done three plus one four for this carbon four for this one now i have to add hydrogen h and h so what did I say? I said because of the presence of pi bond, it is undergoing addition reactions. There is a cleavage of the bond here. There is a cleavage of the bond here also. So here I'm going to write this catalyst here. I'm not just writing. I'll write just catalyst. So what product do we get when this breaks off? CH3 is there. C. Now this becomes double bond. Right now one hydrogen adds to this CH. One more hydrogen adds to this, this becomes CH2. This is an alkene stage. We get alkene. So 3 plus 1, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 2, 2 plus 2, 4. This is one type. Suppose if I, I take the second example. Let me take second example. Now I'm going to use nickel as a catalyst. So hydrogen, right? So now I'll be using either nickel or platinum or palladium right as a catalyst then simple as i said there's a cleavage of the bond this hydrogen adds one adds to this and one more adds to this 
correct so what do i get i get ch2 double bond ch2 further if i add hydrogen to this in the presence of a catalyst then what will happen this bond also is broken and i get alkane so this is alkyne on hydrogenation gives me alkene alkene on further hydrogenation gives me alkane so using the catalyst which i have mentioned earlier so this is your hydrogenation uh, reaction students this is how you're converting higher alkynes or the alkynes to alkenes alkenes to alkenes using the respective catalyst done yes so now we'll be starting with the next type of reaction that is electrophilic addition reactions in my next video thank you for watching students